surgery. So you just want to make sure um, that the, the fluids are like it's kind of halfway in there, full in the chamber. You don't want it like too full because then you can't see it like dripping. Um, but it should it should just stay like that unless you kind of like yeah it should stay like that. But if it if it does like change, you can just squeeze this and uh, to like fill it up. And then if it's too much, you can just turn it upside down okay. and squeeze it back in there. Okay, and uh, this should last the uh, the entire three days. Yeah, this will be yeah this will be more than enough because um, she wants you to give about eighty to a hundred mils um, per time. Um, so the increments on the bag are just like, so there's a thousand mils total in the bag. Um, so you can kind of give like two, so for the first one, it's not like super accurate when you first start, so it's a little harder to tell, but I would say like, um, for the first time you could probably go down to like this line. Okay. And then the second time you'd go down to like that line and that line. It's a little easier to tell if you put like if you put some air in the bag. So just do that, yeah. So then you'll need to like hang it. I don't know if you have uh, even like a a coat hanger or something to oh, like yeah. hang the bag on. Um, it just needs to be like higher up. It'll drip faster the higher up it is. Okay. Um, so then to attach the needle, um, you'll want to make sure that this part stays sterile because it's like sterile in here. And mm -hmm. then you'll want to make sure when you take this off that this part stays sterile. Mm -hmm. So just open this up and then stick it on there. And then this part just twists on, just like that. And then, so for like where to give it, um, we usually do kind of just like in this area. So just kind of like, you can pinch the skin around here. Still right about there. Just kind of, of between the shoulder blade okay. area. So, um, have you ever given like a sub Q injection or anything like that before? Or no. Um, yeah, I mean we've 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 dealt with it with a, another cat, older oh. cat that uh, you know needed insulin. Okay, so have you, you personally gave those shots? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you kind of know how the how to do the injection part. So you just kind of like pinch the skin. Um, I usually use like like two fingers here and then the one here just to kind of give me like a base of where to okay. go there. And then um, you just kind of go at like a 45 degree angle um, and just kind of a firm poke so it goes in there. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you want to give it a try or if you want me to show you first. Uh, it's probably best to show me first. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I have to admit it's my wife that actually did that more than I did. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you just pinch like that and then just go right in there. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Okay, and then... Uh, this is the roller clamp, so you just roll it up and then it should start flowing. And then you'll just want to make sure that, because sometimes you can like poke the needle out of the skin, like in and out. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that it's, um, there's no like liquid falling out. So you can just kind of feel around to make sure that the fluids are going in there. It's okay, buddy. It's alright, Steve. And then you'll just kind of feel a lump forming there too. And then if the fluids ever kind of like stop flowing at a certain point, it can just be like that the opening of the needle is occluded somehow, so you can just kind of try to like reposition it a little bit. Okay. And then it should keep going. Um, this one I'll do for today and mm -hmm. then when you do it um, I would say go down to like the one right there and then like there the next time okay. and then there 
And uh, I was told it was for three days that we have to do this? Yeah, the three days prior to the, his surgery. And then these other clamps too, you can just push like that, just for, so that it doesn't uh, drip any fluids after we take this out. And then you can just kind of like pinch around the needle and just pull it out. And then you can just hold it for like a minute or so, so that the fluids don't escape through the hole there. Okay, there, it's all done. Yeah, I know, that's the look of an impressed cat. <laughs> one-handed like that and just kind of like that but you can you know just be careful that you don't poke yourself um, and then it is recommended to change the needle right away after so that the like bacteria doesn't kind of travel up the line okay. um, so I mean I can let you do it if you want to give it a try sure just so